Hello everyone. Welcome to Mother's Tarot. My name is Loretta and thank you for tuning into my channel. Uh, I'm trying to do this on my phone. I'm a novice at all this, so <laughs> I hope you bear with me. Everything said on this channel is for spiritual and entertainment purposes only. Like I said, I'm a novice reader using the Celtic cross to receive the message from the Divine Spirit. The readings are for the individual states here in America. This video is for the state of Texas. I am using the Gilded Tarot. I was using my laptop to do this, but it is not, uh, the video is not clear, it's just, I don't have equipment to do it, but I'm persevering, and I hope you will too, along with me. So, this reading is for the great state of Texas. Okay. Okay. I request the Heavenly Father to put your divine white light of protection over me. Spirit, I request during this reading your message to know for the highest good of all and for the highest good of the state of Texas. Spirit, I request a benevolent outcome for the greater good of all. Thank you. I got cards. Sorry, this is kind of clumsy beginning. It's dead. I hope this works out with the phone. Other readers, I don't know how other readers do it. They've got great equipment. I don't. I just got me in the spirit. Welcoming you all of you. Okay, spirit, what information is important? for the great state of Texas to know at this time. Spirit, what information is important for the great state of Texas to know at this time? Great state of Texas. Okay, let's see what we got. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups has just popped out. This is uh, for your current situation, Texas. Let's see if I can. Now, if I remember correctly, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is uh, considered the illusion delusion card. Feeling overwhelmed, choices. Options have been presented. And whatever you got going on in Texas right now, you've got a lot of options, a lot of choices there. Let's see what is influencing. Oh, oh my. Eight of Swords. Influencing the Seven of Cups. The Eight of Swords. This is connected to the law and government. Brings big changes. Moving forward, a little rebellious here. Good stuff in the end. Um, let's speak changes. The number eight is about renovation, decisions, and power. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
the next card we're going to pull is the past issues. The basis, the basis for this situation here is, well, we've got the Six of Swords coming up. Yeah, this is, uh, my phone is a lot better as far as visually it looks like, so that's wonderful. The Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is telling us in, about your past issues that the matters will improve. It's about pushing through, hope, slow and steady, moving forward. That's good. So position four, we've got the immediate past. What is behind you, Texas? Temperance. Temperance. Major Arcana. Number 14. The major, this temperance card is about Integrating opposing forces, management, balancing. This is behind you. Behind you. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are regarding this situation we have here. We have the Two of Swords. Counting thoughts here, two swords. The lady is blindfolded. The number two is about choices, communication, guardianship. It's about uh, avoidance of decision, loyalty. Difficult choices ahead. Yes. Possible stalemate situation. Okay, now let's move on to the immediate future. What is about to happen? Oh, well, we've got the Ace of Swords. New beginnings. Aces are always, always about new beginnings. Your swords, they are about your thought, your truth, your communications. It can represent struggle and animosity. The sword allows us to cut through confusion. And it often represents struggle and animosity, like I said signifies victory and triumph over difficulties, new opportunities, great power, divine strength and clarity. So that's what's in your immediate future. It's very good. Okay, now position seven, we have your fears. Interesting, Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Emotional concerns regarding the situation. So we've got a court card. The Queen of Pentacles takes care of details. She's grounded. My social status. And the pinnacles are about finances and professions. They're also your physical being and daily needs of life. This is feminine energy. Feminine energy in your fears department. Okay. Environmental factors. 
the Hermit, Major Arcana. These cards are beautiful, aren't they? I just love them. The Hermit is number nine. Nine is about compassion, patience, and understanding. The Hermit indicates Texas searching for inner wisdom. It's experiencing reflection and contemplation, soul searching. Position 10 is your hopes, what you really wish for. Oh yeah, the Six of Cups, the Six of Cups. Now the six, number six, higher ground, commitment. And for the six of cups, we have new knowledge, environment, new relationships, your hopes. It's about the roots of self family, commitments, attachments, happiness, and don't we all want that as grown-ups? Now, in your outcome position, my own oh major arcana, the emperor, Oops. these cards are just so beautiful. I love the art in that. Look at isn't that beautiful? I got a much better picture here with my phone, so this is what it's going to be like. Okay, the emperor is the number four. Our number four represents security, sedation, sediation, and having enough. Having enough. The emperor is the divine father. He's authority, foundation, protection, reason. He stands for reason, base, decisions on facts, stability, and financial stability. Okay. Oh, I'm, this I'm so sorry. Get up, get up, lined up. An overall assessment here. Well, we've got one, two, three, four. Four swords. And that can re represent struggle and animosity. Is that, you know, as a mature people, mature adults, you know, most of us experience struggle and animosity on some level. Well, at least frequently. It's always something, whether it's family, finances, hopes and fears, but all in all, not a bad read, not a bad read. So she's moving through the past issues. Temperance in the immediate past. You 
integrating opposing forces and they made it past. So I'm I'm wondering are those opposing forces are they making way for your hopes, your happiness? You come to terms with that? looks good. There's going to be a positive change there in Texas. Now I want to, we're going to, I'm going to draw from the angels and oracle deck. Let's ask the angels, well my angel and ancestors oracle deck, I'm sorry. We're going to ask the angels and the ancient ancestors to top this reading off with what is important for Texas to know at this time from the angels and ancient ancestors. <clears throat> In your seventh position with the Queen of Pentacles, she is facing Out into the ether. She's facing into the ether. Contemplation here. Contemplation of the world. So let's see what the angels and ancient ancestors have. We've got the direction guardian. The message is to choose your path. Choose your path. To clarify. Angels and oracles, please clarify. You are not alone. You are not alone. Ignite your passion. Surround yourself with protective energy. <clears throat> okay, Texas. That's all I have for you today. Thank you, for, thank you, friends, for checking out my channel. Please click and subscribe. It feeds the algorithms and promotes the channel. I request the most benevolent outcome for each and every one of my viewers today. Thank you. And until next time. Now we're going to have to do this. <laughs> Thank you.